Previously, from the last episode, I was excited to show you the seaside town of Port Macquarie, known for its beaches and wildlife. In this new episode, let me take you to Port Stevens, part of Wurramai Aboriginal culture. Hi, my name is Ernest and I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel and gratitude. Port Stephens is part of the country of the Waramai Aboriginal Nation and offers visitors many unique, authentic and remarkable experiences. The Australian Aboriginal culture, the oldest living culture on earth, is as diverse as the lands they inhabit, encompassing many nations, languages, traditions and customs. Many Aboriginal people have deep spiritual and emotional ties to Aboriginal sites and they can also play an important role in maintaining culture and connections to land. Please respect their culture and help protect these sites by only driving or riding in designated areas. Protect, respect, connect. Welcome to Port Stephens, the Were My Aboriginal Nation. It's an easy 2.5 hours drive from Sydney with its beautiful beaches, its stunning sand dunes and the coastal walks and the national parks in the pristine clear waters, carefree laid back lifestyle and a great range of accommodations. The beautiful landscape is forever changing. Created thousands of years ago, the largest moving coastal dunes in the southern hemisphere are spectacular. The warm white conservation lands covers 4,200 hectares and 1,800 of which are forests as well as the 32 kilometers of the longest moving sand dunes in the southern hemisphere. A holiday to Port Stephen is all about the sea and sand. The tasting freshly caught seafood wading in the clear waters and the sand boarding down the spectacular Stacton sand dunes. Port Stephen is one of the most incredible places and a getaway from the city of Sydney. So we're checking out the Gangan Lookout here in Port Stephen. Apparently Gangan Lookout is a place where you can view the whole of Port Stephen, the Nelson's Bay and other areas surrounded in it. So we're here to look and check out this place called Gangan Lookout. So if you're willing to travel and have a car to drive, definitely check out this lookout. It's a stunning view from up above the hill. And we are heading to our next destinations and we are going quad biking today and we have booked it through to San Junes Adventure and if you want access to the Aboriginal sites, Aboriginal area, 
it's best for you to actually book your quad biking through the sand dunes adventure so let's go This place is just so beautiful. If ever you get a chance to travel here in Port Stephen, just please follow the information and a guidebook so you get the best chance of seeing the most beautiful places. And if you seek adventure at all, you also find it on to their own booklet. But here in Port Stephens, it's all about the laid back carefree lifestyle. And I can't really stress things enough. It's just beautiful. If you ever wanted to travel as well, make sure you drive around and stay a bit longer here in Port Stephens so you get the chance and the best time to really explore the area. Um, there are jetties, yachts in here, and aside from that, the pristine clear waters that you see at the moment, it is one of the best places to visit. only a weekend getaway and I just want you guys to show how beautiful Port Stephen is and if you are new here to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you get all the episodes now Port Stephen is quite a very unique town and it's only 2.5 hours away from the city of Sydney 
and if you wanted to go and travel here make sure you drive around the area because there's so much exciting places to see there's so much adventures fully packed adventures i may say so you can also enjoy the beauty of the beach the sand the sea and yes as part of it port stephens is a very laid-back town 